Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So as you can see, there's a tech combat and a level up event going on right now. Now, previously we did have a mutant advancement. I decided not to rank up any of my mutants. Uh, I just opened up a bunch of crystals, got all the milestones there. But this is the last event that will be occurring during this particular level up event. So that means there's no reason for me to wait. And so I'm going to take up my 23rd five star. I've got 22 currently ranked five and this will be number 23. And I'm pretty sure if you guys have been on my stream, if you've been watching my videos, you have a good idea of who I'm going to be taking up today. So let's go ahead over here. And filter out our five stars, give you a brief look here at my five stars. I will make a video um, on my roster uh, probably in another month or two. All right, but we are going to be leveling up. Nope, not her. Nope, not him. Nope, not him or her. Nope. And I thought about X23. Uh, I do want to take her up to uh, rank four. Um, Vision Arcus, I want to take him up. Currently don't have the uh, Cosmic. However, there she is. Black Widow, Clairvoyant, loving it. Now, you'll notice that I already took her to level uh, 25. Uh, I did that because I was using her in the arena. It just made it a little bit easier. But I don't even have a tier three mystic um, catalyst, um, or at least I'm short one. But that shouldn't be a problem. You see down here, rank up gem, one to two. When I got it, I was like, yes. So we're going to use that on her right now. And we're going to see, hopefully we can take her all the way up. All right, so let's go ahead and level her up there. Now, she is not just an arena champion. Uh, let me use some of these guys here. I uh, don't do that. It's very inefficient. All right. So now we got to take it to rank three, but we've got the resources. So up she goes. And I'm actually looking forward to, uh, I don't know why it does this. For some reason, the um, smart, uh, smart uh, select doesn't activate when you do that. It should have you know, highlighted all of those uh, mystic ISO, but it didn't. Uh, but anyway, I've got a couple of places that I want to use her. And she does not, from what I've seen, need to be awakened. Now, we will do a uh, closer look video on her. And uh, we'll learn a little bit more about her. But I definitely, definitely... Uh, want to do a closer look and use her in some other uh, content. As I mentioned earlier, she's not just an arena champion. She's actually pretty good. All right, we're at rank three, and look at what we have here. A rank three to four gem. Yes. It's almost like they knew. So let's go ahead and use that gem. Up she goes. And yeah, see, it did it again. Let me go out because it will select them when I go back in. There. All right. So it went ahead and did that. Now, we're going to run out of uh, Mystic ISO. Um, I'm pretty sure you saw that. And when we do, let's see, grab these. Uh, I may as well just start grabbing up uh, any ISO because... Otherwise, it's just going to um, expire. Now, as I mentioned, you do not want to do this yourself. 
it is very, very inefficient to use non-class specific ISO, even the uh, basic ISO. You actually do lose a little bit as far as uh, gold goes. But as you see my gold, I'm not really concerned about that. All right, so we're just using up, you know, whatever ISO is right there at the top because it's soon gonna expire. And the only other thing that I would do with this ISO to keep it from expiring would be to sell it. All right, so she is now rank four. And now we're gonna pull the trigger and boom. Black Widow Clairvoyant is now my 23rd rank five, five star. And we're gonna keep on being inefficient, using up whatever ISO that we can uh, use. Uh, but there's a path that I'm gonna try to test her on in act six. Oh, why am I doing it that way? Uh, just claim all. Uh, in act six, that I'm curious to see if she does well. Now, I don't run Mystic Dispersion, and she is much better with Mystic Dispersion, as long as you don't have too much. Too much means you're gonna lose a little bit of your control, and you'll end up cycling special threes when you don't really want to, but if that's not a problem, then go for it, you know? But, uh, she's also suicide friendly. So if you saw my opening, you saw how happy I was to pull her. Now, I mentioned that she was on my most wanted list, and I corrected what I, I said in there because I never officially added her to the most wanted list, you know, the little graphic that I have uh, when I do my crystal openings. I didn't add her but she was always one of my most wanted and I thought she was there. The only reason I think that she was not there, um, I think at one point in time, uh, I was gonna add her and she wasn't in the uh, basic pool yet. And so I said, all right, I'll wait until she's in the basic pool. She came to the basic pool and I forgot all about it. In my mind, she was there and I just completely forgot. Um, but she was definitely a champion I wanted a lot. Uh, I run suicides all the time. She is very suicide friendly. So what makes her suicide friendly, and I'll talk more about it in the video, but she starts out bleed immune. So boom, automatically, I don't have to worry about uh, double edge. All right, and now you have the poison. Well, she can cycle, and with one combo ending in a light, the next uh, mode, I guess, of hers is her poison immunity. And so just one combo, and boom, your poison is gone. But it gets better because she can also heal. So when she's in that uh, blood immunity, the one that she starts out in, you'd have to cycle all the way through if you cycled um, past it. But when she fires off her special two, she heals a lot. Now, I don't quite know yet uh, what governs the amount of healing that she does. Um, like I said, I'll do, I, I remember doing either a first look or some video, but I've forgotten already. Uh, but we'll do a more in-depth look at her and see what makes her so good and why I wanted her so much. Um, but those are the highlights of why I wanted her. Now, when I got her, the first time I used her in the arena, I got a, um, a matchup where she had to go up against someone with like double her PI. All right, there she goes. She is now maxed out. We'll take a look at her real quickly here. Um, she had to fight a Venom, and this is when she was rank one, level one. And 
as a Venom, uh, as Venom gets a lot of buffs, it was great. And I took a lot of block damage. You know, she was rank one, level one. This Venom, um, I think, was a uh, rank five or four. But what I was able to do is cycle through, just keep healing up, healing up. I kept stripping away his buffs. It was a beautiful fight. And it was just in the arena. So I can't wait to play around with her at rank five. All right, so there you go. You can see her uh, abilities here. She's a control champion, so in Alliance War, that might be an option, I don't know, uh, with flow. And let's see over here. All right, so her block proficiency isn't the best, but she heals. Um, critical damage is good. Um, but really it's her abilities. Let's look at her synergies here. So she has a Ghost Rider synergy. I don't use Ghost Rider without Blade. So if I'm already going in with Blade, then I could see myself using Ghost Rider um, along with her. But other than that, no. Uh, Doctor Strange, I still don't have a five-star Doctor Strange. Now here are some champions that I can see on folks' team. Sunspot, Human Torch, very good champions. Mephisto is a little underrated. People don't use him all that much. But Human Torch and Sunspot, great champions that people do use often. And then we've got the OG Black Widow. New Black Widow is coming to the contest soon. Uh, she has a synergy with herself, Guilty Souls here. And then you have Electro. All right. And again, we're not going to go into her abilities, but I just wanted to show them to you here. Uh, before we get into a little gameplay uh, for her. All right, so very short, not that much to deal with here, okay? And yet, she is very good, very useful. Um, I applaud uh, Kabam for doing this. It's awesome. This is an awesome champion. All right, so uh, in a moment, we'll come back and I'll take her around town uh, maybe we'll still hit up Winter Soldier in Realm of Legends, but I want to take her around town so that you guys can see some of the reasons I wanted to use her uh, and why I wanted to get her, rather, um, from the crystals. All right. So we'll be right back. All right. We're back. And instead of going into Realm of Legends fighting Winter Soldier like we normally do, we are going to go into Realm of Legends, but we've got two fights coming up. This first fight is against uh, Juggernaut. And in this fight, I wanted to show you guys some of her utility. So the first thing I did was I ended with a light combo, which switched her to the next curse, which gives her poison immunity. That poison immunity got rid of my liquid courage poison. So I am now left with just the benefits of my suicides. She starts in bleed immunity, so I don't have to worry about double edge. Switch to the poison, now I don't have to worry about the poison. And on her special two, she heals, as you will see during this fight. But there is something else that she does on her special two that I wanted to showcase in this video. And what you'll notice is that when she throws her special two, she puts a buff immunity on Juggernaut. Now, when I first heard this, I was like, why would you give someone a buff immunity? Well, as you see, he gains unstoppable after his specials. That's a buff. So if he has buff immunity, he cannot get the buff that gives him unstoppable. So that's what you're seeing here in this fight. Uh, she is giving him buff immunity. Now, you want to cycle the special twos. Sometimes it doesn't last as long as I need it to, so he does go unstoppable. But then there's another little feature that she has. On every hit, she has a chance to uh, nullify a buff. So even after he is unstoppable, has the unstoppable buff, she can nullify it. Now, she has to hit them to nullify it. And one of the things you'll see me do here is, you know, other than mess up right there, ignore that. Um, but what you'll see me do is I'll stun him while he's unstoppable, hit him to remove the unstoppable. That only works here in Realm of Legends because this particular Juggernaut has not been changed. The Juggernaut 
that you're going to most likely encounter elsewhere, you can't stun him while he is unstoppable. Now, I have not tried fighting an unstunnable while unstoppable juggernaut with her, but she will have a chance to nullify that unstoppable, but he most likely is going to attack instantly and get in a nice combo on you. So that's not quite practical what you see me doing here uh, elsewhere, you know, because I like to stun him. But hopefully this fight showed you what she can do when it comes to buffs because he gains a buff reliably on every special. So right here he has it. And you see I stunned him, hit it, moved it away. I could have continued my combo, uh, but I believe there's a chance that she'll fail. So I always like to hit once, wait, see if it actually nullified it, then go in. Now, another point to mention, I am not running Mystic Dispersion. But if you're running Mystic Dispersion with this champion, every time you nullify a buff, you're going to get power. So what that means is that in a fight like this where you need to control their buffs, what you will find is that you have a much easier time. Like, you know, I fire my special two off. That only lasts for a certain amount of time. And sometimes I didn't build up to my special two in time. You're going to see that more in the next fight after this one. But if I had Mystic Dispersion, I would have no problem cycling special twos and completely shutting them down. Uh, that's for opponents that rely on buffs. All right, so that was Juggernaut in Realm of Legends down. Now, this next fight is a fight that has stopped many people. If you come into Realm of Legends unprepared, then you're going to get wrecked. You're going to actually get stopped by this. All right, so I skipped the other fights. I just ran in with Ghost. I don't have any um, synergies for Black Widow, by the way. All those synergies you see there are for Ghost. And I used her just to get me to the fights. That was it. All right, so the thing about Wolverine is that he has a crazy regen buff. You have to deal with it. If you come in here with a champion that cannot deal with it, you're not getting past him. Just, you're not. No matter how well you play, you're not getting past him. He will just keep healing up to full. Now, we haven't seen her special three, so that's why I wanted to fire off the special three, but uh, in actuality, what you wanna do in a fight like this is cycle your special twos. Now, I mentioned before how suicide friendly she is and what you're seeing here is just how suicide friendly she really is have you seen her health just look at her health watch her health from the last fight look at her health here every time you fire off a special two while she's in that blood curse mode she's going to gain a lot of health plus she's going to put a buff immunity on him all right, so you noticed how crazy that regen was. I fired off my special three. I wanted you to see how bad that regen is on this Wolverine. So from this point on, I'm not about to do that. I'm going to just cycle my special twos as you see me starting here. All right, so he now has buff immunity, so he can't generate any regen at this point. All right, and you see here, it's gone at this point, and I don't have a special two. And he's proccing the regen. Fortunately, she is nullifying it on her hit. But say you were going up against someone that had a buff, you know, like unstoppable. And you did not want to deal with it at all. Well, that could be a problem because you saw I didn't generate enough power to get to my special two before that um, buff immunity ran out but Mystic Dispersion will allow you to do that. With Mystic Dispersion, you're not gonna have any problem. Now, the buff immunity, if I remember correctly, because um, I may have uh, misspoke on this one, the buff immunity may prevent the buff so that you're not able to nullify it. I don't know whether you regen power or you gain power um, while buff immunity is active. 
because uh, I don't run Mystic Dispersion. Somebody should test that out. Um, and I wanted to mention it uh, just in case because um, I'm saying buff immunity um, and you'll gain power so that you can cycle to your next special too, but uh, you may not be able to. So what you want to do, uh, just in case, is build up perhaps to almost a special three if you can, and then cycle it. But in this kind of a fight here, anytime he procs that regen, you want to be hitting him so that you can nullify it as you see I've been doing. Otherwise, even from that little bit of health that you see him have right there, he'd regain all of his health. All right, so that's gonna do it guys for this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. You see I was playing with him a little bit here because I want to intercept with my special two. Um, but take care. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the rank up and everything. I will come out with a video, a closer look video, where we talk more about uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant in depth. All right, so take care. And you all have a blessed day.